The cruise ship is a floating petri dish. It's got to be the weakest in all of the anti-cruise argument catalog. It's like getting socks and underwear for a Christmas gift. It's just not done in proper culture. But yet, almost every day in the comments, at least one or two of the witty retorts, the cruise ship is a petri dish. In today's episode of the La Lita Loca Cruise Show, I'm going to destroy that argument and, and hopefully encourage people to come up with something new to say. Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Tony. If you enjoy that cruising and travel content, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. If you haven't noticed, it's casual Friday on the show. Just enjoying some sun and fun and it's hot out here. I might already be regretting it, but I'm kind of hot under the collar. I'm tired of the weakest anti-cruise argument cruise ships are a floating petri dish now if we just take that on the surface and we're just saying that cruise ships are good environments for the spreading of bacteria and virus you got something there i actually do believe that you have something there but if you're using the cruise ship as a petri dish as a way to say that cruise ships are a place where a lot of people get sick then the argument just falls apart right there I hear it all the time, but I never see any data that backs it up. If the cruise ship is so good at spreading around virus and bacteria, how come a lot of people don't get sick on cruise ships? Well, you may be saying to yourself that people do get sick on cruise ships. I mean, I see it in the news. Of course you see it in the news. This is a story that's going to make the news, but do a lot of people get sick on cruise ships? First, let's talk about the norovirus. This is the one that everybody likes to hang their hat on. I think it's the norovirus that generated this idea that cruise ships are petri dishes. The norovirus outbreaks occur primarily in four places. They occur in healthcare facilities and retirement homes. That's a big one. They occur in restaurants and in catered food situations. That's a big one. They occur in schools. And number four, they occur on cruise ships. The common thread for norovirus is food workers and food consumption and a lot of people all together. Did you have the aha moment? Did you catch me? I said it happens on cruise ships. Well, do you know how often it happens on cruise ships? 1% of the time. The other three categories, healthcare slash retirement homes, restaurants, catering, schools, make up 99% of the norovirus outbreak. Well, 1%, that's still a lot of people getting sick on cruise ships, right? Wrong. From 2008 to 2014, 74 million people went on cruises. Out of those 74 million, less than 1%, 129,000 people had some sort of stomach bug. Of those 100 129,000 people, 1 in 10, around 29,000 had the norovirus. An insignificant amount of people got sick on the cruise ship from norovirus. Now it's significant to the people that got sick, not discounting their struggle, but overall if you're looking at it in totality and trying to make the argument that you will get sick going on the cruise ship because it is a super spreader of virus and bacteria, the evidence does not support that. I've I've also got anecdotal evidence. I've been on several cruises with lots of people. I've never gotten sick, never gotten the norovirus. And of course you're saying, well, what about the coronavirus? Did people get sick on the cruise ship from the coronavirus? Yeah, here's the data on that. 3,700 cases of coronavirus on the cruise ship based on data from August the 1st. It occurred on 72 cruise ships of the global fleet around 28%. The current coronavirus cases in the United States over 5 million. Coronavirus did not come from cruise ships and during the time frame of the infection on the cruise ships was at the beginning of the crisis where nobody knew what to do. If you want to argue that the cruise industry somehow magically should have known how to deal with coronavirus when no one else in the world did, then that's another weak argument. Coronavirus did not come from cruise ships. The majority of the coronavirus in the United States came through airports. And I'll give you this nugget also. The cruise lines are in the business of providing safe ways for people to travel. They recognize the fact that norovirus is an issue. They've come up with procedures to combat that. That's why there's not many cases on the cruise ship. And guess what they're working on right now? They're gonna come up with procedures to do their best to minimize coronavirus on a cruise ship. We've seen some cruise lines start to pull that off. We've seen some cruise lines struggle, but give it some time and the cruise lines will have things in place to minimize that risk also. Because again, at the end of the day, there's just not a lot of sick people 
on cruise ships. The cruise ships are petri dishes and therefore people are getting sick. The evidence just does not exist. And why does it even matter? It matters because I'm an idealist. I do believe that the comments in these videos can be a, a way that we can learn from each other, that we can push each other, that we can challenge each other, that we can learn more about the world around us by experiencing other people. And so let me clue you in as somebody who is looking to engage in the dialogue. If your comment is some unsubstantiated, unfactual, retread trope of something I've heard from a thousand other people, I just ignore it. And so do most people. If your goal is to influence, if your goal is to communicate, if your goal is to change somebody else's mind, you have to offer factual data and not just some trolley comment that nobody really pays attention to. I mean, I have to pay attention to it. I have to read all the comments. So if, you're, if the goal is to get me to read your comment that's not beneficial, you got me. I'll tell you one that I don't read. I don't read the 4,000 word comment, the manifesto. So that's just a heads up. I don't think I'm alone in that. If you give the 4,000 manifesto comment, you're definitely not getting anybody to read it. Just a heads up. So my encouragement would be this. If you want to argue against cruising, come up with an original idea backed up with facts, bring it to the table. But if not, just know that people are gonna scroll on by and you're just wasting time. And if you're okay with that, that's good with me. The comments are yours to prove me wrong, but please come at me with something that makes sense and something that's fresh. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please show your support by hitting the like button. This is Tony for La Lido Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.